Hey YouTubers, it's Charlie. Since so many new characters have been announced on Arrow and The Flash, I wanted to do a video series for some of the bigger ones. So this is going to be all about Captain Cold. Why is he a big deal? Well, he's one of the most famous Flash villains and he's being played by Wentworth Miller from Prison Break. I can already hear the Iron Heights Prison Break memes. So I'm going to start with his origin story in the comics and then I'll talk about how the show might use the character. If you're finding me for the first time, I do Flash and Arrow videos every week. Be sure to subscribe to get everything. It's going to be a really exciting season. And real quick heads up too, if you have seen the first episode, please use spoiler tags in the comments because most people still have not seen it yet. So Captain Cold's real name is Leonard Snart, so whenever the show introduces him, that's who we're going to see first. Eventually over time he's going to turn into Captain Cold, probably in that same episode he debuts in. They're not waiting before giving us those big supervillains. I know you guys are really happy about that. Less waiting means more smashing time. So they've changed his origin story in the comics a couple times, but here's the original one. His first appearance was in 1957. He was created by Carmine Infantino. He's the same person that created The Flash, so no surprise that he created one of The Flash's best villains, too. Originally, the character would pull regular heists, trying to steal money using cold guns to freeze things, mostly to get women to like him. Remember, this is a long time ago. This is like in the 1950s. Eventually, he learned about a really big score, so he teamed up with some other supervillains. That included his sister, Golden Glider, the Trickster, and Heatwave. They eventually were thwarted by Barry Allen, who had teamed up with Jay Garrick, who had come out of retirement. That was basically the beginning of the Rogues, a group of Flash villains that banded together just because they weren't strong enough on their own to fight the Flash. They're like the bad news bears of villain teams. Think of the crime syndicate as like the Yankees, World Series champs of evil. The Rogues are usually the guys that get their asses handed to them every week, so most of the time in the comics they were used for comedy. So eventually in the comics, his backstory was changed a little bit, especially whenever Jeff Johns took over The Flash. They made his sister a much bigger part of his backstory. Like he was a criminal because he needed money to take care of his sister. Just to make the character more sympathetic. He's not a villain because he's straight up evil. He's a villain of circumstance, which is probably how the TV show is going to treat him. There was a period in the comics whenever he tried to reform. He made this company called Golden Recoveries with his sister Golden Glider. But like a lot of reform villains, it didn't stick, and he ended up killing his former prison inmate named Brad Brickley. The case became this big unsolved mystery with the Central City Police Department. It was used to test new cadets. Eventually, Bart Allen solved it, but the show isn't doing Bart Allen. At least right now. Right now on the show, the big unsolved mystery is Barry's mother's murder. Before Jeff Johns and DC Comics did their whole New 52 reboot, Captain Cold and the Rogues even went on to kill Bart Allen. During the whole Flashpoint storyline, he actually tried to live a normal life as Citizen Cold, masquerading as a hero of the city, just trying to hide his past crimes. He even had this weird relationship with Iris West. It was like a Godfather situation where he tried to go legit and then the other Rogues got pissed. They ended up kidnapping his sister and revenge murdering her. So he went on to kill them and then Iris West turned on him. So the general theme is, is that whenever Captain Cold tries to go legit, things do not go well. Like he's not allowed to be legit in the DC Universe. After the New 52 reboot, all the rogues, including Captain Cold, were given real life superpowers as part of a freak accident with Star Labs. So essentially now he doesn't need his cold guns to free stuff anymore. And obviously that's the way the show's going to do it too. In case you never read any of the old Flash comics or the new ones, whenever DC did the big New 52 reboot, they basically wiped all the old stuff from continuity. So whenever you meet the new Captain Cold, you're essentially meeting him for the first time. So whenever we see him on the show, we're probably going to be seeing the New 52 version, although Jeff Johns and the other writers are really good about including Easter eggs from the classic comics. If you want to read some really cool, quote unquote, Captain Cold stories, you should just check out Jeff Johns' Flash Omnibus. There are three different volumes and they're all awesome. He actually goes to a lot of comic book conventions and he's really nice to his fans, so you might be able to get Jeff Johns to sign one of those if you give it to him. On the show, Wentworth Miller is going to debut as Leonard Snart in episode 4. That's also the same episode Felicity is guest starring in from Arrow. The title of the episode is Oracle, so as much as it's an introduction to Captain Cold, I think it's going to be more of a Felicity episode. I know comic book fans went a little nuts when they heard that title too. Oracle is the name Barbara Gordon takes whenever she forms the Birds of Prey group. Arrow did a Birds of Prey episode last year, and they're going to do it again this year. And yes, Felicity will be the Oracle of the team, with Huntress and Black Canary. I know Black Canary technically left at the end of last season, but she's back in season 3 for 3 episodes. If she leaves the show before they do a Birds of Prey episode, they might just substitute Katana for Black Canary in the group. The Captain Cold episode on The Flash, that's not going to be a Birds of Prey story or anything, but it will explain how the show is going to treat his character. Because the particle accelerator explosion is the MacGuffin, you know, the thing that creates all the metahumans, it's likely that Wentworth Miller will be a normal person in a bad situation who just figures superpowers are the answers to all his problems. 
I'm hoping that he's in a situation where he's trying to help his sister and then Shazam, he just gets powers and things go horribly, horribly wrong. Like he has a really bad run-in with a flash. There has to be a reason for Captain Cold to hate him, to hate Barry Allen, a reason for him to form the rogues. On the show, nobody knows the Flash exists, like he's just debuting now. So they'll have to have that first run in and Barry's gonna have to do something that will make Wentworth Miller hate him. Think of it as like the Batman problem. Batman is a force of nature in Gotham. He's all about justice, but because he's so aggressive, he causes a lot of collateral damage and forces criminals to up their game. Thus, super weirdos start crawling out of the woodwork. So he basically creates as many villains as he puts away in Arkham. The same is going to be true for Barry Allen on The Flash. For every rogue that he puts away in Iron Heights, two more are going to rise up in their place. Oh wait, that's the wrong show. Hail Hydra. Just to clarify, Iron Heights is like The Flash's version of Arkham, and think about Wentworth Miller prison break in this meta kind of way. The first half of the season is going to be very faithful to the comics, so they're going to be doing a freak of the week model. Barry's going to be arresting a lot of different people. Eventually, they'll all probably try to band together and do a prison break. So it's totally possible that Wentworth Miller could already be in prison when we see him for the first time, and then the particle accelerator explosion gives him powers, which he then uses to break out. Wentworth Miller is a really specific kind of actor though. I feel like they cast him because they wanted a sympathetic villain, which points back to Captain Cold's sister. Either way, it's going to be awesome. So because The Flash is debuting October 7th, that fourth episode, the Captain Cold episode, is going to be on October 28th. So think of it as like a Halloween episode. Felicity Halloween episode crossover. It's going to be so much fun. Because Wentworth Miller is such a big actor and Captain Cold is such a big villain, it feels like the show is going to use him as a medium bad this season, as like a brother blood type character. Think of him as like the Darth Vader. There's always the Emperor waiting in the distance, which on The Flash is going to be the Reverse Flash or Professor Zoom, however you want to think about it. But before he reveals himself, we got to get a whole lot of rogues. Now to name the winner of my Comic Con giveaway, congratulations to Clock Stomper. You win a Flash Funko Pop figure, I'm going to be reaching out to you in our channel for details. But congratulations. Since I'm doing a Flash Villains video series, the next video I'm going to do is going to be for Killer Frost, since that's the character that Daniel Panabaker is playing on the show. Be sure to subscribe to get that. I'm also working on the same type of video series for Arrow, so my video tonight is going to be an Arrow video. But right now, click here to get my review of the pilot episode of The Flash, and click here to learn all about Robbie Mel's Firestorm character. Thank you so much for watching, I'll see you guys tonight, high fives.